What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So Call of Duty has did another surprise update. I got all the patch notes for you guys. Some weapons were actually nerfed with this one. We also got some new content involved and I got all the details covered here in today's video. Couple of reminders, I did post a video yesterday going over all the upcoming operator bundles and in-game gameplay showcasing of them. So if you have not seen those yet and you are interested in them, be sure to check it out. I'll have the link down in the description. Also, I do have a second Warzone channel where I cover all the best meta loadouts that you need to know, especially with this brand new update and the new metas that we have i will be making a video today to cover some good loadouts that you should be using so if you do play warzone and you're interested in that be sure to check it out i'll have it linked down in the description anyways we got a brand new update and here's everything that you need to know about it double xp double weapon xp and double battle pass xp are now live in modern warfare 3 and in warzone for all platforms and this will be going live until january 24th at 10 a.m pacific standard time is when it will be ending and any player who logs in between now and then We'll also receive a one hour double XP token for all the categories. So double player, double weapon, and double battle pass XP. We also got a new store update that brought in two items. The first one is a free gift pack that you can now claim for the next couple days before it gets replaced with a different one. This is just a calling card that you can now unlock. The second item now available is the Homelander Operator Bundle. I saw so many comments of people requesting to see this Operator skin in the game. So I did promise I would let you know when it was available and it now currently is. It should be in the store all the way up until season one reloaded ends but this is available it's the same exact bundle that we saw with the original modern warfare 2 you have the homelander operator skin he has three different weapon blueprints which come in with tracers and dismemberment there's a brand new finishing move there's other things like a loading screen calling card and much more surprisingly the older boys operator skins offer a lot more than the newer ones do the newer ones only give you two different weapon blueprints these older ones have three different weapon blueprints and you get a dismemberment on top of the tracer rounds as the old one only gives you tracers they dropped the brand new trailer for the boys event and they pretty much showcase the brand new operator skin some of their finishing moves and just overall just like a little trailer that we usually get for every upcoming operator bundle surprisingly despite dropping this trailer a couple days ago a train and firecracker are still not in the store yet as of right now it's only starlight homelander we know that black noir is going to be added next and then following that probably maybe like mid next week we'll see firecracker added in and then following that there will be a train and just a reminder the boys event is a very big event they even put it in the homepage that it will be three weeks long every single week there will be a new set of challenges and rewards that you're going to be able to get so there's technically three different events within the boys event first one is called the soup takedown the next one is going to be called soup siege and then the third one is going to be called vot week meaning that we are still going to get two more events every wednesday there will be a new event that comes in i'm going to be explaining all the details that you need to know about that in the next video because i'm still gathering the rewards the exact challenges that you need to complete and all that footage for you guys which i'll have ready by the next video anyways we also received a brand new update in terms of patch notes and here's what they are you didn't need to do any downloads just a little playlist update but here's what raven did they nerfed two different weapons for warzone the first one was the mtz interceptor and here's all the details the max damage was reduced to 74 down from the original 85 the near mid damage was reduced to 72 down from 82. The mid damage reduced to 70 down from 80. The minimum damage reduced to 66 down from 78. And the neck multiplier reduced to 1 down from 1.5. And the WSP swarm near mid damage reduced to 20 down from 24. The mid damage reduced to 18 down from 22. The far mid damage reduced to 17 down from 20 and the minimum damage reduced to 16 down from 18. The most popular weapons and most overpowered weapons have been nerfed, so for the SMG meta, it is still a decently good gun, but there's gonna be some better options like the Striker or the Rival 9. Those saw a buff in the Season 1 Reloaded update, so they may be better contenders for you to use as of right now. But on top of this, they also tweeted, they said in Wednesday's Warzone update, a bug was causing killstreak notifications to not appear. That was a side effect of an in-progress quality of life feature slated for the release of Season Season two. The bug for that has been fixed, but they showed an early preview of the new quality of life feature that they're going to offer. As you see here from the clip, it's going to appear on the mini map. This is just an icon to let you know where the enemy precision airstrike is about to land. So usually you just get the notification pop up in the center of your screen and you just have to start running. You may end up running in the direction of the precision airstrike, but here they're telling you the exact radius that it's going to attack and hit. And that way it'll help you sort of get out of that area. They only showed it for the precision airstrike killstreak, so they haven't shown the 
mortar and other types of streaks. Maybe they're probably going to do something like that for them. But that was one of the reasons why I guess it bugged out in the first place because they were trying to implement this and add it into the files for the season two update, which is just in a couple weeks. Anyways, a couple of other patch notes that we have is they're investigating an issue with per packages not being able to equip properly in Warzone. They said while they investigate this issue, there is a workaround. Ensure that your first and second perk packages contain the same exact perks. Create or edit a loadout and select perk package one. When receiving your loadout in game, your perks should be correct correctly now equipped. Another update that they did is they fixed an issue causing the trigger response time of the Ali's regret attachment for the TYR to be slower than intended. So it's not supposed to be that slow and they have sped it up, I guess, since that update. And then for multiplayer, they did a ranked play update, a minor update with the balance adjustments to secondary melee weapons has been released. Secondary melee weapons have been adjusted to require two hits to kill now in ranked play. So it doesn't matter if you're using a knife or not. If you knife a player, you will require two different hits in order to kill them. That's sort of like to stop people from running around knifing each other, which like ruins the integrity of ranked play. Going into the next topic that we have, the new quest has been officially completed for the first time ever. Redman and his squad were able to get the five wins in a row, grab the champion's quest, activate it, and actually detonate it. And this is the short animation clip that is showed for officially completing the nuke over on Yerzik stand. Once you complete that, you also are given eight different rewards, which consist of the brand new operator skin. You got other things like stickers, charms, calling cards, decals, and even a brand new camo. And this is what it looks like in game. There's currently two available ways that you can get it. The first way is to either get five wins in a row to get the new contract, complete that, and you can unlock them or get 30 wins in the same season. You get a nuke token. You can activate that whenever you want, start it up, get the new quest, and then complete that. And the third option, which apparently is not yet introduced will be introduced in season two that is stealing the nuke for yourself if someone in your lobby is currently doing it you can go over there eliminate them take the nuke from them complete the contract and you can end up getting the rewards but as of right now apparently it's not live yet and will be live in a future update anyways this is everything that you currently need to know that's going on right now with season one reloaded expect that there's going to be a lot of future content that's going to be coming out i do have another video plan that's going to go over the boys events that are going to be upcoming because this is only week one of the boys event apparently it's going to span for three weeks long and as i mentioned every single week we'll have different challenges that you'll be able to complete different rewards that you'll be able to get from them so this is going to be a much bigger event than what you're currently seeing over on the event tab right now and this first one only has like three to four days left of it next one's that we're going to be going into the second one so i have all the details for you guys which i'll be covering and i'm gathering right now for tomorrow's video and then after that we're going to go over and start talking about the future content that has been leaked the upcoming collaborations the season two leaks we are just around two and a half weeks away from this brand new update. So we're going to start covering that as well here on the channel. But this is currently everything that you need to know going on with the latest updates that we have for season one reloaded. There's probably not going to be any more bigger updates that are going to come out after this one. You can expect the weekly events to drop on Wednesdays with playlist updates. But other than that, don't expect like any other weapon balance changes or bigger new content to be added. These are going to be things that we're going to cover in the upcoming videos. But anyways, that's all that I got for you guys in this one. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you found the video helpful or informative, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And hopefully I'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again. Peace.